Cars fans, we had some questions on how they get these motors to work together on these mod tractors. So this is uh, three Hemis um, with the big blowers that I explained in other videos uh, on this for the Farm Machinery Show. There's some three engine mods here and some four engine mods. But we're gonna to explain to you how we get all these motors to work together to, into one drive shaft into the back of the tractor. So, here we go. All right, so you'll see on each engine, we have a clutch. There's one here, there's one there, and there's one right here. So each motor has a drive shaft to a common gearbox. In this case, I have all same size gears in the gearbox, so it makes it uh, runs through the right way. So all them, get all that power is combined into this gearbox. It comes out into one shaft and back into the rear end. We have a neutral start, forward and reverse box right here. That's what I can shift when I go out on the track. There's no transmission, nothing like that. The clutches are all centrifugal, so as you give it RPM, that'll cause the clutches to engage and for it to move forward. And how much trouble is it to change gears for different tracks? We, if we have to change a gear, we change the ring and pinion in the rear end. Change the ring and pinion yeah. in the rear end, okay. Yeah. So there's no transmission, it's just direct drive in, you know, neutral, forward and reverse, that's it. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you get three big motors to work together and like i say this is the big blower you're allowed to run if you run three motors if you run four you have to run the smaller one so you guys have a great day you drive supercharged alcohol <laughs>